Major cinema chains had their first big weekend in the U.S., but the box office isn't biting. North American ticket sales totaled 6.6 .6 million. That's according to Box Office Mojo. While a record since mid-March, so it's certainly a far cry from the more than 100 million pre-pandemic. Muki Gredinger is the chief executive of Cineworld, which runs Regal Cinemas. Regal reopened in the U.S. on Friday with new health procedures in place. He joins us live now from Israel via Skype. So, uh, Muki, thank you so much for being with us. So, um, what sort of numbers did Cineworld see specifically over the weekend? Well, I think we had relatively good numbers. We need to remember that we opened only 190 uh, cinemas, which is a third of what we opened. We didn't have our big guns, the New York and California cinemas, but we had some very impressive results. We have some shows that were sold out, although uh, sold out in our days, it's not full capacity because of the restrictions and the social distancing. But still, we really felt enthusiasm from our customers. We saw huge movement on the website, on the app, and a lot of people came. And we need to remember this was the first weekend only, and we had only one new move. And uh, we are looking forward now to next weekend with uh, new mutants and another two smaller movies. And then we are going into Tenet, which is the first big release, uh, Chris Nolan movie, which is uh, coming in the Labor Day uh, weekend. Yeah, there's some excitement about Tenet, and we'll see if that boosts revenues. But just in terms of the criteria you used um, to decide which specific cinemas and movie theaters to open, how did you reach your conclusions? So first of all, a lot of the job was done by the governors of the different states in the United States. It's not us, because we're, we were not allowed to open. For sure, we did not open. Uh, here and there, where we have two cinemas that are in very close proximity. We decided to open one this week and one next week uh, in order also to get time for our teams to, to be back on the floor and back on the show. And uh, I think this was an important move. But in general, we are adding another 110 cinemas uh, this weekend, and towards then it will be adding more. And we really hope to have the states that we are missing uh, joining soon. I think that the move of Cinema Safe uh, was very, very successful. This was brought by NATO, our uh, association, but also as Regal uh, ourselves, we invested a lot of effort on the safety procedures, uh, and this worked really well. And people were, I, I would say, even uh, surprised a bit by how serious and how professional the safety measurements were. Can you give us some specifics about the safety protocols that people can expect at Regal Cinemas, for example? So first of all, a mask is a, is a must. And uh, uh, I think this is self-explanatory and uh, nobody's arguing about this today. But if you want to go into the cinema, uh, a mask is a must. Uh, then we have special sanitizing uh, procedures. We have special cleaning shifts. Uh, all the team is trained, of course, also with masks in order to give uh, the right treatment to the people. We have developed, by the way, a special app where you can, in the uh, lobby itself, if you don't feel comfortable to queue in the concession stand, you can order your food, and this will be expecting you in a, a corner uh, near the concession. Uh, although it's fully safe to queue for the concession because the social distancing is being kept. But if you don't feel comfortable with this, you can do it. It worked very well. It was this weekend, the first time we used this app. And uh, we had a big number of transactions already there. And once people get used to it, uh, it will become uh, probably popular also for regular days. No, we are not going to live in the corona, in the COVID-19 forever. All right, Muki Gredinger, life for us there. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.